let us say this, uh, this table is given A, B, C, D, E and the functional dependencies are given A determines B, B determines C and C determines D, decompose it into second normal form. So, we are supposed to you know convert it into second normal form. So, before going ahead, we are supposed to find out the candidate key. What could be the candidate key? Now, if you see the right hand side, B is there, E is there, D is there. So, B, E and B, D and E are there. Now, if you check it, A and C are not there on the right hand side. So, definitely every candidate key is supposed to contain A and C, right? So, every candidate key should include this. Now, let us check if a c itself is enough to become a candidate key right how can you check it by finding out a c plus okay now let us assume let let us see if it is covering everything first thing is it will contain a c now left side of this f d is present here therefore i include its right hand right hand side left side of this f d is present here therefore i include its right side left side of this one is present therefore i include its right side so if you see this all of them are covered right and so you can say that AC is a candidate key and also AC is the only candidate key. The reason is, if you try to delete anything from this, it cannot become the candidate key, which means every, every candidate key should contain AC and if you try to add something to it, then it will become a super key. So, only candidate key is AC. Now, once you find out the candidate key, identify if any of the functional dependencies are containing partial dependencies. So, why partial dependency? Because we are dealing with the second normal form, right? So, since we are dealing with the second normal form, we have to identify partial dependencies, right? Now, if you see this, left side of the FD is part of the key, which means part of the key means A. A is a part of AC. Therefore, left side is part of the key and right side is a non-key and so this is, this dependency is partial dependency for sure. And again, if you see this, okay, this is non-key and non-key. So, it is a different kind of dependency which is called transitive dependency. We shall deal with it later. So, for now, it is not a partial dependency and so we do not deal with it at all. So, since we are talking about second normal form, here we are worried only about partial dependencies. So, this is not partial dependency, leave it there. Now, what about this? C determines D. Now, again, left side of the functional dependency is a part of the key. So, definitely this is partial dependency. So, we identified the partial dependencies. Now, you find out the closure of them and you try to decompose the table that way. So, what is it? Now, our table is A, B, C, D, E. Now, I am going to decompose it using these two. So, one is B plus, sorry, A plus because this is what has caused the uh, partial dependency and so I will take the left side of it and apply closure. Now, what is A plus? If I see A plus, I am going to get A and along with this C because of this A, B and because of B, E, right? Now, if you see this, A with it will take away B and E. So, B and E are gone and I am putting A, B here, uh, B and E here, right? Now, the remaining is C. Here again, one more partial dependency is there. So, left side of the partial dependency is C. Find out C plus. If I find out C plus, I will be getting C and because of C, I will be getting D. Therefore, I have to make one more table with C, D. Therefore, C is going to take with it D. Got it? But then, let the original, original key be there in a different table, in a new table, always let the original candidate key be there. So, what is the original candidate key? Okay, original candidate key is AC. So, let it be there. Got it? And if anything is remaining, you can put them there. But if you see this, B is already taken away and D is taken away. So, you need not write them again here. So, this is enough, AC is enough, right? Now, is this decomposition lossless? You have to decompose it in such a way that it is lossless, isn't it? Now, if you see the decomposition, now if you try to merge them, you can use this uh, AC. See, the reason why we are keeping the original candidate key intact is as a separate table is whenever we try to merge, then it will be useful. So, why do you want to merge is? Let us say initial table, in the initial table, you can find the relation between any attributes. For example, given the value of B, what is the value of D? If they ask you such a question, you will be able to answer it in the original question. Now, after decomposition, given a value of B, if you want to find out the value of D, you will not be able to answer it because both the informations are present in a different table. Then you have to merge them back and then find out the answer. Now, when you are trying to merge them, you should not get any spurious tuples. That is why we have to see that it is lossless. Now, if you observe it, if I have to merge them, then I will be using 
let us say what is the key here a and c right if i merge them these two let us say i want to merge these two instead of merging these two i'll merge these two first why can't i merge these two first the reason is they don't have any common attribute unless you have a common attribute you cannot merge it and also that common attribute should be a primary key in one of the tables therefore merging these two is not possible and so i'm having this one more table now i'll merge these two merging these two is definitely possible because intersection is a and also a is a primary key for this table therefore merging these two is possible okay now if i merge these two then it will be lossless then again i'll merge the the resulting table which will contain a b c e to be with this got it then again c and c are there and it c is a primary key in one of the table therefore i can merge it losslessly so this decomposition is lossless and let's see whether it is fd preserving or not what is fd preserving i should be able to get all the fds covered right so what is it a determines b can be applied here and b determines e can be applied here and c determines d can be applied here which means this is the set of fds that i get from these tables and original set is still intact therefore you need not check whether these are all covered by this one or not if anything is disappearing then you have to check whether the new set is covering the old set or not but here you can clearly see that all the fds are present therefore fds are all preserved and also if you observe this a is the key here right and a is in the left side therefore it is not a partial dependency and this is also not a partial dependency c is the key and c is present in the left side it is not a partial dependency so there are no partial dependencies which means all these tables are in second normal form first thing and the decomposition is lossless and also it is fd preserving got it